Talks with Rey Mysterio and Global Force Wrestling considered dead. This is BQ, and I do this for the Global Force Wrestling fans. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake? Now, it's been reported that the talks, the contract negotiations between Rey Mysterio and Global Force Wrestling, are considered dead. Now, the crazy part of this is that they're not betting against WWE, at least not to my knowledge. From what I understand, talks with them broke down as well. So, whatever the negotiations were between them and Ray, there was a sticking point and obviously something fell through. Now, the advantage that they did have against a larger company is that maybe they couldn't compete pay-wise, but Rey Mysterio is not looking to wrestle full-time right now. He likes doing the part-time schedule because his focus is on getting his son's wrestling career up and running. Now, negotiating with someone like Rey Mysterio can be extremely difficult. I'm not saying that he's difficult, but if you remember the famed Booker T interview where he's talking about limousine services and hotels and all the amenities that he expected to receive due to his status, maybe someone like Rey Mysterio, who has been at the top of the mountain, maybe has some demands that aren't things that Global Force Wrestling can necessarily handle. Now, my personal opinion, I'm not a Rey Mysterio fan, and by saying that, I don't mean that I don't respect who he is and himself as an in-ring performer. Just as me as a wrestling fan, I was never big on Rey Mysterio. Reason being, towards the end of his career, I know the early WCW days and everything were great, but towards the end of his career, I thought his, and I, I shouldn't even say that towards the end of his career, because he does wrestle on Lucha Underground, but I mean... There was a certain point in his career where I thought his matches started to look extremely scripted. I always knew what was coming. And for that reason, I kind of started losing interest in Rey Mysterio. Did I want him to come to GFW? Hell yeah, because he's a big name. He's a draw. And he's someone that the Latino audience can get behind. The kids can get behind. I know my son would absolutely love him because I don't think he's seen him wrestle elsewhere with another company. And it would get the wrestling world talking. My personal opinion, though, I had said months ago, don't hold your breath. It wasn't something that I felt was going to go through. Now, creative plans that were leaked, and I think this is really, really cool if they were able to pull this off, was that they were going to build towards Alberto El Patron versus Jeff Jarrett at Bound for Glory. Basically, Alberto was going to be the heel, was going to be upset that he was suspended, stripped of his global championship. It was going to lead to a match with Jeff Jarrett, and Jeff Jarrett was going to step aside, and Rey Mysterio was going to step in at Bound for Glory. That would have been absolutely huge. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if there still isn't some kind of Alberto El Patron matchup Bound for Glory, and someone steps in for Rey Mysterio, much like Alberto El Patron stepped into the bully race slot when he debuted. So it is disappointing, but never say never, because if you guys remember, Alberto El Patron and Global Force Wrestling had several talks in the past that broke down, and it never seemed like he was eventually going to come to the company, and then sure enough, he did. So maybe we do see Ray in the future, you never know. If you follow sports, there's plenty of times where trade talks, free agent talks are dead, and then something happens where they come back to light. Maybe one side budges a little bit. In this in this case, it would have to be Global Force Wrestling, of course, that would have to budge. So we're going to have to see what happens. We're going to stand by. Maybe there's going to be news further regarding this situation. But as of right now, talks with Global Force Wrestling are dead. What do you guys think about this? This is BQ. Please subscribe to the channel. We talk Global Force Wrestling just about each and every day, and we do so in a positive manner. No trolls allowed. Talk to you guys soon.